So my neighbor Chris gave me two of these Makita 18 volt, 3 amp hour lithium ion battery packs. They're BL 1830s and they failed. So we thought I could take them apart and try to reclaim some of the cells. So let's take a look at what's inside. So you, here you can see the battery management board. It has, down here there's a little printed circuit board strip that went in there that contained all the balance leads. The reason these battery packs failed is some have really bad corrosion. You can see here, look at the tips and... So I've looked up these cells. They're Sony cells. They're rated for a capacity of 1600 milliamp hours. Their nominal voltage is 3.7. The maximum you're supposed to charge them to is 4.2 volts and the minimum cutoff is 2.5 volts. So I looked at all the batteries that were in pretty good shape and I had a voltage and I put them in my battery charger and run the NOR test which is one that it charges them all the way up then discharges and recharges and tests the capacity. And then I've written on each battery what the capacity is and also what the internal resistant was. So my neighbor also gave me some of these BMS boards that he got either on Alibaba or Banggood. Um, they're sort of knockoff boards or replacement boards for the Makita tools, the 18 volt ones. And you can see that white lead is the thermal couple for measuring temperature. It has a ground and it has a, you know, a plus 18 charge uh, part wire. And also has this wire, this black wire, is basically the plus that is used to run off one set of cells uh, that runs the board. But what's missing, and what's very interesting, is there's no balance leads on this, so I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work. We'll give it a test. So I put together a test system using these Varun's um, non-welded battery kits. So you can just insert the cells and try things out. And so I, it's a similar pack, it's a 5x5S five 2P five pack. And I've taken the best cells that I've gotten out of the two battery packs. And then I've just temporarily connected to the battery adapter so I can plug it in to the tool and into the charger and see how it reacts. So we have the temporary battery pack hooked up to the drill and we'll see how much it draws. So it's drawing under 5 amps. So I have this battery load tester and I've connected it to my temporary battery that's testing the cells from the Makita and I've just plugged it in here and I've reset it and now we'll watch to see how many amp hours we or watt hours we can get out of it. And I've set it to about two amps, which is you know sort of an average load for a tool. Unfortunately we only got uh, 25 watt hours out before one of the cells appears uh, dropped below 2.5 volts and so I stopped the test. Okay, I replaced uh, two of the cells that were seemed to be running out before the others. I'm charging up the pack that has the two batteries replaced. And this is with the chip that's the uh, knockoff chip. And it starts out as red. It's a little scary that the charger starts out by putting nine amps into the battery pack and then it eventually starts dithering down to two and a half. Lights red. You used the Makita charger to charge it up and it got up to about um, four volts instead of 
But we ran the load test again, and this time I got 28 watt hours out of it. So after charging with the Makita battery charger, let's look at the different voltages. 4.07, 3.81, 4.81, 3.78 so you can see that it didn't do a very good job of bouncing so I took this uh, knockoff Makita battery pack apart to find out why it failed and the results were kind of interesting out of the 10 cells that were in it um, all but two have zero voltage and the two that are still good are overcharged they're at almost uh, 4.4 volts and usually the max is 4.2 and then you look at the uh, battery management system and there's no balance leads in this so when the charger charges it it's putting the 20 volts across all the cells so if there's any different in resistance in the cells themselves the voltage is going to change so there's it's a a 5S2P pack, so each set of two can be at a different voltage. Uh, it seems very uh, dangerous, so the more cycles you go through and the heavier loads that you put on the pack can actually vary quite a bit. And I think what happened with this pack is when the, several of the cells failed, then it, you know, all 20 volts was trying to charge just these two. And then uh, luckily the Makita charger uh, figured out something was wrong and stopped. Before I spot weld these battery packs together, I'm going to check and see if I can um, put a real BMS board in there and see if we get more balancing with real balance leads. But I guess for now, my observation is uh, there's a reason these uh, batteries are and knockoff boards are cheap. You know, they're a third the cost. It's because they're not doing balancing of the cells, which can lead to issues in short life.